despite the Citroen Ami having just 8 horsepower and a 0-60 of never, it's got itself into a fair few scrapes over its short time on public roads. Since its release in 2020, Amis have been caught twerking on Teslas, drifting in car parks, and getting up to all kinds of other juvenile activities. There's something really endearing about the Ami. It doesn't take itself too seriously and sort of exudes this goofy, lovable personality, just like the Mark 1 MX-5 and VW Lupo have. Now, the Ami is one of few cars which still manages to look quite comical, even in a crash. Today, we're going to talk about the infamous Citroen Ami flip in Monaco. It's pretty remarkable. If you haven't seen it yet, take a look. Interestingly, despite the Ami being limited to just 28 miles an hour and having most of its weight at the bottom giving it a low center of gravity, this mad lad managed to roll the thing over, smacking it into a bollard. Don't worry, no one was injured too seriously, by the way, but for one of the occupants, it was a very close call. Doctors told the passenger if the impact had been slightly different, he could have been paralyzed. I don't really know if this counts as a car crash really, given that it's technically a quadricycle which might give my European viewers a hint as to who was at the wheel of the Ami. So what exactly happened leading up to the crash and what happened afterwards? The story is actually surprisingly strange and a little funny despite it no doubt being scary for both of the occupants. The passenger was a young car spotter by the name of Raphael Sky, who'd already massed a decent following on TikTok before the crash. Luckily, he gave an interview to the guys over at Me and Mon Ami channel, which is largely how we can piece together the context for the crash. Go and follow both them and Raphael, by the way, I'll leave links in the description. If it wasn't for them coming together, we wouldn't really know nearly as much as what we do now about exactly what happened. Raphael was car spotting that day, as usual, when he met another spotter who he hadn't met before. He said when he saw the Ami driving around in Monaco, it was the first he'd ever seen. The other man took note of Raphael's interest in the car and asked if he wanted a ride around in it. Of course, Raphael excitedly agreed. They did a couple of rounds around the famous Monaco hairpin bend, bombing up and down the hill at never-before-seen speeds. The third lap was the one where the car rolled. Presumably the driver wanted to show off a bit as many blokes tend to do when they've got a passenger they want to impress. Well, I say bloke. In reality, the unnamed driver was actually a 16 year old. Since the Ami is a quadricycle and not a car, it can be driven without a full driver's license, which is what makes them a popular vehicle among teenagers. As anyone with a younger brother knows though, 16 year old lads are morons and the guy clearly didn't understand how physics works just yet. The car began tipping and before long it was on its side and we all know what happened after that. But what happened after after that? Well, firstly, the injuries. Raphael was on the side which hit the ground, so he took the brunt of the crash. He banged his head and needed a few stitches, and he hurt his hand. He also had some neck pain for a while afterwards. Luckily, he was wearing his seatbelt because he didn't entirely feel safe putting his life in the hands of a kid. In Monaco, it's not actually a legal requirement to wear a seatbelt, but Raphael said this acted as a pretty strong reminder to belt up for your own safety every time you get in a car. Now, onto the teenager. He luckily escaped completely unharmed. Shortly after news of the crash got around, the fire brigade and police arrived. The 16-year-old reportedly received a massive bollocking from both his parents and the police. Given the video was filmed so well, and the Ami shouldn't really be able to roll this easily, many people initially thought they had deliberately flipped the car as a meme. But Raphael categorically confirmed that this was in fact not the case. This particular spot in Monaco is where dozens of car spotters film during the day, so it was inevitable that at least one person would have filmed it, especially given that the Ami is quite an interesting car. It's thought that the Ami was an insurance write-off, since just about every panel on the thing was smashed up. Generally in France, cars like this don't tend to get repaired since it makes no financial sense to do so, and the assumption is it's probably the same in Monaco. And there you have it. 
That's the story behind the infamous Monaco Citroen Ami crash. I should have known it was a kid driving. My initial assumption was that it was a well-off Monaco local who thought it would be funny to try and roll one. Mainly, that's because they'd gone up and down the hairpin a couple of times, so it does initially look like they were either trying to drift somehow or roll it over, but we now know that that clearly wasn't the case. If you learned something new and enjoyed the video, why not leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more in-depth car stories like this one, although admittedly they are often a bit more morbid. Finally, let's talk about lessons learned. Wear a seatbelt and just be careful whose car you get in. Drive safe everyone and thanks for watching.